What do I make, recommend doing for your first trip to the Philippines? If you've got somebody you're going to meet up with, um, personally, I would build the two weeks or one week around spending time with them, getting familiar with their family, their environment. If they're working, um, basically try to understand the person. Um, personally, I, I recommend if you're going to look for a partner, find one that's working. Um, there are some lazy traits with some people, and they can see marriage as a, a way of never having to work again. Um, I remember uh, a friend of mine with his, he had a maid doing the housekeeping, and then uh, he realized when they started dating, she stopped doing the housekeeping, so he ended up like, getting rid of her and they eventually got back together but the fact was she was only doing the housework when she was doing it as a job as soon as she actually was a partner she didn't actually see that she had to do anything I think I, I don't know but I've seen that so many times where somebody assumes they don't have to pull their weight and that's why if somebody's already got a long-term job it's important that they keep it um, you don't want to commit to things straight away just because they earn 6,000, 10,000, 15,000 pesos a month, don't get them to quit work. Um, because you're getting them to commit to you, but you're still not 100% sure whether you want that full commitment. Um, and if you decide a month later that you're not getting on, that person's lost their job. Um, do you really want to do that to somebody? I don't. I wouldn't. Um, so, something to think about. But do make them aware you're coming to visit and do spend time with the family, do spend time in the communities. And the reason I would say spend time around the community is people around them will actually tell you things that they wouldn't. Um, there's been cases where people have asked for myself and other people to find out about their partner. Um, they're looking at taking things to the next level and a little visit into their community uh, at a local store or chatting to people in the same street you find out everything about them um, because the Philippines is a very tight net uh, uh, community so everybody knows everything about everybody so if they've got kids you'll find out that day if you've got um, if they have um, a boyfriend, all these things. Those things you'll get from somebody in the community. Um, there's a phrase called, well, it's crap mentality, where people drag people back down to their level. Um, that is based on the crabs, where there's a bucket and you'll get one, with, you know, one's climbing his way up the other crabs, and then somebody with a pincers will pull the other one back down. That's crab mentality. But you will get it in the Philippines where. They're not lying to you, but they, if you said, do you know, I'm, I'm seeing somebody, blah, blah, blah. Um, do you know she's had a boyfriend in the past? Oh, yeah, she's been dating, what's his name, for the last seven years. In fact, they've got two kids. Really? You know, because I'll tell you now, somebody will tell you. So there's that familiarization on the negative side. The other side of this is you get a positive bit where you understand the community, you understand the cost of living and how people are living. You get to know the family, you get to understand how the family work, who's the, uh, you know, the, the good and the bad in the family. You build a relationship with not only your partner, but increase that bubble to include the family members. And the reason that's important is if there is problems, you want to try and put your partner to one side and take responsibility for it yourself. Because the, the way I deal with things, if it's something, I, I remember saying this a long time ago to my wife, if somebody's asking for money in the family, tell them to ask me, because you're my wife. And that, that's the way I, I work, because all she has to do is say, it's not my money, you need to speak to my husband about it. And they would never come and talk to me about money. Um, but they might try and blackmail a partner or whatever. But I never had that issue, because... I sat down and thought about these things in advance. I knew those cultural things where you'll get 
aunts and uncles and distant relatives that have funded somebody's education and then later expect, expecting a pension fund. Um, at the same time, it's not only the pension fund for somebody who's paid for their education, but it could be the next generation, they, they want you to fund them. All these things happen um, and it's stuff to be aware of. It's stuff to work out ahead. Um, don't plan too much either. Um, check the weather. <laughs> That's an important thing. If you arrive in the rainy season, you could plan to go um, out for the day. But in wet season, it could take you two days to get there and back. <laughs> not not a few hours because the roads become treacherous, landslides and all sorts. I, I know people have been cut off for a week in some places. So plan ahead, but don't plan too much. If you want to go scuba diving, go scuba diving. Um, but be aware um, of where to go, how far it is from where you're actually going to be staying. And like I said, I would spend time in the community more than spending time apart. Um, because if you take your partner away from that community, you're not going to learn a lot about them. Um, because generally Filipinos don't tell you too much about themselves. The, they're interested in what you're doing. It's just, it's just, um, if you imagine you lived in a, um, a goldfish bowl, the last thing you want to talk about is the inside of the goldfish bowl. You want to talk about everything outside that you've seen on the internet or whatever, or outside the goldfish bowl. Um, and you want to know from somebody who's been there. So you don't really want to talk about your goldfish bowl, you want to talk about everything else. But you want to know the reverse, because you want to know what's, what they want, where they want to go in life, all this sort of stuff. Um, and that's why if you get a bit with a family, it's a more relaxed atmosphere. Also, your partner hasn't got this thing in the back of their head where they're worried about you meeting the parents and all this stuff, because you've done it. Um, you've done it, done and dusted everything on your first trip or your second trip. Um, and one of the things that you could do is what I did is I booked into a resort which was um, about 10 minutes away from my wife's family. So you've got that bit of space as a couple, but you've also got the ability to go and spend time with the family, um, go out with the family, do family stuff but also the couple stuff, also get familiar with the community, get familiar with the, the area, the town, etc. Because um, my wife is still going to work during the day. Um, so Joby, April's sister, used to come up and would take me out, show me the shopping malls and all that stuff while her sister was at work. So these are the things to plan on your first trip, um, especially if you look for a relationship. These are the things that you want to do um, from the get-go, when you arrive, meet your partner, meet the, sort out where you're going to go, find out where the family live, know your hotels near it, etc, etc. All that you need to pre-plan, you know, where's the nearest hotel, where, are, where do you live, because a lot of the time they don't really want to talk about where they want to they live, because sometimes they're a bit embarrassed about it. Um, because they're from a poor community. Um, obviously, as a Westerner, generally we don't care. You know, we're we're there for the people. You know, the person. Um, we're we're not tied into that. Well, most of us aren't. Um, and this is why it's important that you bring it across. It's like I'm there to see you, but at the same time, you want to know a bit more about the Philippines. Thanks for watching.